The clone stamp in Photoshop is the tool to use when you need to copy existing detail as accurately as possible in order to remove something from an image. In this photo, we'll use this tool to remove one of the people in the crosswalk. So when you're doing retouching or object removal in Photoshop, it's always a good idea to keep your retouching on a separate layer so that the changes are non-destructive to the underlying image. So over here in the Layers panel, I'm going to come down to the bottom and click on the Create New Layer button to add a new empty layer above the background. And I'll double click in its name and let's just rename this layer and call it Retouching. I'm also going to click on the Lock Position button for this layer and this will prevent the retouching layer from accidentally being moved and becoming unaligned with the background layer. I'm going to come over to the toolbar and I'm going to select the clone stamp tool. Now in order to clone detail from the underlying image onto the new empty retouching layer, I have to make sure that up here in the options bar for the clone stamp tool that the sample is set to current and below. The default setting for this tool is current layer, but that wouldn't work here because the current layer is empty and has no detail on it. So let me set that back to current and below. Next, I'm going to zoom up to 100% using the shortcut of Command Option 0 on Mac or Control Alt 0 on Windows. I'll hold down the space bar to get the grabber hand so I can move the image around and see this person here near the bottom of the crosswalk. I'm going to make my clone stamp brush cursor a bit larger by tapping on the right bracket key several times. And now I'm going to define a sample point. I'm going to tell Photoshop where I want it to copy the detail from. So I'm going to move my cursor a little ways over from the, the woman in the crosswalk there. And I'm going to hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on Windows. And I'm going to line up that crosshair there with the edge of the white stripe. And with the Option or Alt key down, I'm going to click to define that as the sample point. And as I move this over here, you can see that there's a preview within the cursor of the detail that's going to be copied. And that's actually very useful in this case because I can line it up with the existing crosswalk line there and then just click down and begin brushing that over there. And as I do that, take a look at that crosshair that is following me over to the right of my actual clone stamp brush cursor. This is telling me where the detail is being copied from. And it's always a good idea to pay attention to that because it's going to give you a preview of when it might be about to move on to an area that you don't want to copy. So, all right, there we go. That looks pretty good for now. So let's point out that in addition to removing that person there, I have also created some repeating details. So you can see those here with this line and this little angled line here are exact copies of those same elements over on the other side of the white stripe. And even some of these dark spots on the asphalt are exact copies. So I'm going to remove those. Let me just tap S to get back to the clone stamp tool. And I'm going to tap on the left bracket key a few times to make my brush cursor a bit smaller. And I'm just going to option click on areas of the asphalt and remove those repeating details so that they are not there drawing attention to themselves because the human eye and the human brain are very good at picking up patterns and noticing patterns and repeating details. So let me just do a little bit of that up here on this line in the crosswalk stripe. All right, there we go. That's looking better. But that's definitely always something you should keep in mind as you're using the clone stamp tool or indeed any of the retouching tools. I'm going to zoom out and fit the image on screen using the shortcut of Command-0 on Mac or Control-0 on Windows. And if I turn off the eye icon for the background layer, you can see that all of the retouching detail is now on this separate layer that I created at the beginning of the project. In terms of the details that are sampled and copied for retouching or removing objects, the Clone Stamp tool provides the most control, especially when image detail needs to be extended over the area where an object is being removed.